Would you be the preacher? Would you be my? Hey, what's going on, guys? So, some days we wake up to decisions, thoughts, or events that we wish were different. We wish that they could somehow solve themselves or change back to how they used to be. We sit and remember the times before this certain event happened. Memories of happy times where we smiled, and even times of hardship. But in reality, most things cannot be changed or undone once it has happened. Sometimes we are left in an unhealthy emotional state where we cry and hope things were different or change back to how they used to be before. But sometimes we need to remind ourselves that when one door closes, another one is waiting to be opened. I strongly believe that everything happens for a reason, good and bad. Things occur to us that change ourselves as an individual and makes us stronger for the long run. Sometimes this is hard to realise in the time of the moment. We tend to lose sight of the positives and focus on the negatives and about all the things that could possibly go wrong. People change, we change. And it's all from experiences that each and every individual has had to deal with. During these times, it's okay to cry. It's okay to ask someone for help if you're really struggling with a certain issue. Sometimes we just need to be reassured. We need to be told that everything will be okay and that things will get better. No one is perfect and I can guarantee that each and every one of you are experiencing something as we speak or have had to in the past. You're not alone, there will always be someone there to listen, whether it's one of your family members, teachers, friends, or even a professional who deals with these issues on a day-to-day -day basis. We tend to overlook those who are willing to help and or offering to help us. We tend to shut them down and pretend that everything is okay. But in reality, we're not okay. We're screaming for help in our heads, but we're scared to ask for it. Unfortunately, people cannot read minds and sometimes cannot see what you're going through. This comes the hard part. The part where you must reach out for help and express what is going on in your head and your current situation. A lot of us are worried and scared that something or that someone will see them differently after they tell them. This is not always the case. Depend on those who love you and people you know will reach out and do anything to help. The biggest thing is getting what's going on in your head and heart and expressing it in a certain way. It's sort of like releasing the demon from inside your body. There are many ways in doing this process, such as writing your emotions down and reaching out for help and talking to someone. There are so many resources that are available for you to access to assist you through your hard times. Once again, you're never alone. If you're not comfortable telling your story to people in real life, I challenge you to write down something you're dealing with at the moment or in the past in the comments below. Let all those negative thoughts out and express yourself through the use of words. Chase your dreams and don't let anyone stop you from doing so. Go out and experience the world, even if it's just outside your house. This will help keep your mind off that certain thing bothering you or simply give you the time to think about it. We're all here to support each other and even if you don't want to share, reassure someone else in the comments and let them know that they are not alone. I'll put my story in the comments below too. I'll share something hard that I'm dealing with and in hope that someone can relate and feel that they're not alone. There will always be people who are willing to listen and assist you through your hard times. We're all human and at one stage in our lives, we will be asking someone else for help. I made this video in hope that my words and thoughts connected with at least one of you. I will always be here to help in any way possible, so simply just message me. Trust that everything happens for a reason, even if you're not wise enough to see it yet. I love you guys so much. Please don't hesitate to comment down below or anything like that if you need to talk to someone. I suggest that you, or I advise you to share your story down below. Everyone share something that they've had to go with, even if it's just losing your pet animal or anything like that, something that made you upset or angry at the time. Share that down below and everyone just give each other feedback, I guess. I don't want hate. I'll be deleting any hate mail, so don't even try. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Things will get better. Please believe me, it does. I know it's so hard to realize it in this time of the moment, but it really, really does get better. So I love you guys so, so much. As I said before, please message me if you do need help. I will try my best and I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Bye. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. There comes a time when the blank, the blankness of future is so extreme, it is such a black wall of nothingness, N not even of bad things. It's not like there's a cave full of monsters that you're afraid of entering the future. It is just nothingness. The neon, as the French would say, the, la vide, the, the void, the emptiness. 
and it is uh, just horrible. It's horrible to contemplate uh, a futureless future, if that isn't too impossible. Um, and so you just want to, to step out of it, to step out of the, 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 the whole race, the whole business. The, the monstrosity of being alive uh, overwhelms you. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, do you, are, are you just here to live, to die? I mean, is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? And I had questions and no answers. And I asked my mom and dad, why did this happen? I asked doctors, why did this happen? They, they don't know. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have, though, is either to give up or keep on going. The very first thing I want to offer you is empathy. I understand that the feeling is real. This idea that you want to just do an end, put an end to the entire game of life. So beyond my empathy and my care for you, my heart going out to you, I want to offer you this, that there is a law. There's a law in nature, which is that of seasons, right? So, in the winter time, it's cold, right? It's freezing fucking cold in the winter time, especially if you live in like the north. And it could be so cold that you're miserable. If a man was so cold and miserable that he decided that perhaps I should kill myself because this freezing cold misery is not worth living in, someone might offer him the idea that remind him of the law that dude this is like you've got maybe another six weeks you got maybe another eight weeks and then spring's coming man it's just the way it is things cycle through it's just a season right now i understand it's freezing fucking cold and you feel horrible and you feel pretty bad about the situation but hang in there 70 percent of illnesses on the planet all kinds are self-created you are able to generate substantial amount of intense emotions and thoughts, but in the wrong direction. You are generating thoughts and emotions which work against you, not for you. You think it's your right to throw tantrums? You think it's your right to get angry with people? You think it's your privilege to be depressed so that you'll get attention from somebody? You keep playing this. One day you will not able you will not be able to turn back. How did I get from depressed to who I am today? Because I tell you, I was depressed. When I was age eight, I used to concentrate on the things I didn't have. I wish I had arms and legs and I wish I could do this, but what can I do? You see, I have a choice, and that's what I want to talk about today. Choices. I can either be angry for not having arms and legs or be thankful for my chicken drumstick. You see, I can still do a lot of things. At home, I can brush my teeth, comb my hair, get myself ready in the morning. And I'm traveling around the world. It, it's, it's amazing. Happiness is a choice. That is what I want to live my, my life by. You can't always be happy. Listen, I know. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I, I, I realize the realism in always being happy. Sometimes you have to put up with some crap in your life. But if you are always striving to choose happiness, every day you wake up and you say to yourself, you know what, I am going to choose to not let the outside influences of the world affect my mood. I am going to be in charge of how I feel because I am going to choose happiness. I promise you, you will live a lot happier life. And at least, at least you can try to, right? You just have to set the necessary conditions for health, necessary in incentives for health both for yourself and your children if you have them. Do not set incentives for sickness. I felt depressed, I felt miserable, I felt at times where it may be better to take my life. But with the wisdom that I've gathered in my 33 short years of life, I've come to realize that it's just a feeling and in the same way that feeling cold 
is diminished. The misery of feeling cold is diminished by the insight that spring will come is the same feeling that you should acknowledge, the same law that you should acknowledge that no matter how miserable things are right now, it is just a season. It's going to pass. The thing that keeps one living is a sense of future, that there will be a tomorrow, and tomorrow I've got to do this, and then the day after I've got to do that. Not that any of these things have a particular logical purpose or a convincing reason to exist, but they somehow keep one going. In, in the words of Dorothy Parker, a, 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 a great uh, wit and writer and poet, um, you might as well live. Back, 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 back.